Hi. So I'm going to try this video one more time. Uh, I just recorded it a little while ago and I kind of forgot to turn on the uh, microphone. So one more time. But you didn't know that, so I could have just totally skipped that part and you would have never known, but then, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Nayeli, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to specifically uh, connect or make sure that your MX records from G Suite, aka Gmail, are properly connected to your Wix settings on your Wix account. Um, this one was a special request. So shout out to Peter and thank you for my new nickname, Wix Chicks. Oh, and I added my, my first name at the end, Ixchel, which many of you did not even know that because I always introduce myself as Nayeli. So here we go. Um, first, inside of your uh, Wix account, make sure that you are logged in. You will need to have access to your dashboard so we can go into your domains. And you will also uh, need access to the G Suite uh, admin control panel. So make sure you are the owner of that um, admin control panel where that domain is located or will it will be located because you can add it afterwards. I'll show you right now how to add it. If your dashboard does not look like this on Wix, it's okay. Um, if it does, I <laughs> guess I should start there first, huh? Click on your little profile picture in the drop down, click on domains. If your dashboard looks like this when you log in, uh, two ways that you can get to the domains. You can either click on manage domain from right here or manage site. And then you can click on the domain, which is right here. So once we're in the domain, click another button that says manage domain. <laughs> So many buttons, right? Um, and it'll take you where we need to be in order to configure or to add any existing or new domains. So let's keep this open for a little bit and jump to G Suite. How to get here? Two ways also. Um, you can go to gsuite.google.com or you can type in google.com forward slash the letter A. So google.com slash a, and that'll also get you here. Uh, this is where you log in. Uh, the login or the sign in button is at the very top corner. You enter the default domain, the primary domain of the account, because some of you have more than one in the same account. Sign in with the primary. Make sure it says access to admin console, and then click go. Once you sign in, um, let me go back. Your dashboard should look something like this. Google doesn't change it that often, so it, it should look the same as mine. Um, you'll see different categories. You can explore those later. I recommend that you totally do. They're a lot of fun. You can mess a lot of things up and then fix them right back up again. <laughs> um, but you will need to know how to use those categories because you have to create users or different groups uh, with different aliases. Uh, right now we're going to be concentrating on this one which is the domains. So click on the domains. It'll get you here. You'll see the button at the bottom that says add or remove domains. Click on that one. I just realized so many buttons everywhere, right? Maybe that's why people are confused. But this part's easy, trust me. So uh, once you're here, you'll either see a list of the domains that you currently have connected to your admin account, or it'll be blank. Either way, um, I don't quite remember what it looks like when it's blank, but there should be a button up here somewhere at the top where it says add a domain alias, or, or just add a domain. So click on that button, and then you're going to go ahead and enter it. I, <laughs> I just deleted this one right now just so I can go back and re-add it again just for you. So I have one, it's called wixchel.com. It's it's the word Wix and then my name because my name starts with IX. So it looks so cool, I had to buy it. Do I need it? No, I don't need it, but I love it. So I have that domain now, wixchel.com. Cool, right? All right, anyway, um, so let's continue and verify domain ownership. 
Okay, so the study, it has been saved. So I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom, look for, there it is. I just added it. Now we have to set up the Google MX records. So right here, it already says verified for one reason. Um, in my Wix account, here we go. I've already added it. If you watched the first video, you would remember or know that um, once you add this domain here under mailboxes, there was a drop down menu and I selected G Suite. And then I saved it. So G Suite automatically added some settings. And right now we're just going to verify that they are correct. They do match. So that way Google can go ahead and um, confirm that the MX records are correct for this domain. So over here, it's been verified that I own it. Uh, now we're going to set up the Google MX records. What are MX records? I'm going to move this to the side. Let it finish loading. <laughs> uh, email delivery, mail exchange is the MX records. Read the little description up at the top. Read all this fancy stuff at the bottom if you want to. Uh, really what you're going to be looking for is this right here. Do not get confused with this part up here. It does say show instructions for, and then you select the company where you purchase your domain from. Well, I purchased mine from GoDaddy, but I won't be following the instructions for GoDaddy because inside of GoDaddy, as seen in my first video, I've already changed the name servers and I changed them to Wix. So I'm going to be inside of Wix and do those settings, which as seen on the first video, it was just selecting um, the email provider from the drop down menu, which was G Suite. So here is what they should look like. So I'm going to go back to Wix, make sure that when I did select G Suite from the drop down menu that they had, that the MX records really did uh, change and they are reflecting what Google wants them to reflect, which is this right here. Photographic memory, everybody. Put pause? No? Okay. So I'm just going to pretend that I just read and memorized this whole little thing right here. Now I'm going to go to my Wix. Inside of the mailboxes, you can verify it in two places. Uh, one, you can go to the Advanced tab. Here you'll see a list of records. Just click on the drop down and you'll see the records there. Notice how it's identically the same. I know because I have photographic memory. <laughs> That and I checked it before I did this video. <laughs> so this is where you can verify them. If not, most of you will be very tempted to click on this little button right here. Do it. Do it. But when you do it, <laughs> it'll tell, tell you that the MX records have to be changed from the mailbox settings section. This will confuse a lot of people. I'm sorry if I'm talking so fast. I'm really excited that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so inside of the mailbox settings, going back up at the top again, mailbox. Here, where we already selected G Suite from the dropdown, this is where you click on change settings. So here's that dropdown again that I was talking about. Click on view MX records and it'll show you what is currently active. Since these are the default, and Wix is already connected to G Suite and they already know what the MX records should be. They're already pulled and they're already added on here. Your host name will be your domain name and the points to section, all of these will be matching these that are on a uh, Google site. So you don't have to manually change them, but let's say Google or your provider is not on here. All you would do is select other and then manually start typing these in. Okay, if the priority does not match exactly, it does not really matter. Unless you're OCD'd, then I can't help you. <laughs> but um, after you verify that they're correct, just click OK. It will have saved them. Um, then, inside of your Google, go all the way to the very bottom. You probably will miss this little button because it doesn't seem like there's anywhere to go from here that just gives you instructions but nowhere to go after that. Well, it's listed at the very bottom. It says, when finished, click on, I have completed these steps. 
That way Google can then run a check and they'll check your MX records to see if they can actually pull them from wherever you change them in your settings. So let's do that now. So now it should refresh your domain list where all of your domains were previously before we started. It's loading now. So now it finished loading and here's my domain list again. Now I need to find the one that I had added, wixchow.com. <laughs> and here it is next to it. It's done. It's an alias. I've already added it to my account. There's nothing left to be configured. If I were to send an email right now, I would probably receive it. If not, wait an hour or so. It might take a little bit to finish configuring all over the world. Um, but yeah, there you go. See, I told you it would be easy. Um, if you have any questions or if you have another request, feel free to contact me through Facebook or leave a message in my video uh, comments down below. Um, and yes, you will see some of my videos in my YouTube channel. And yes, you will see some other exclusive Wix code videos in the Wix community channel. So I recommend you subscribe to both because you never know what I'm going to record and you never know where it's going to end up. Bye.